this is Mr. Joe here. So that didn't even take about a minute because they built us a brand new DMV and they made it bigger and they staffed it with more people. So that was awesome. DMV is a lot more smooth. So now we're heading back to get Jada so we can do the tire thing for her. And um, yeah, pretty much this is the way our Friday is going. <laughs> sure. So Jada, you never told my um, viewers if you got to meet the Sakoni Jolies or not. Oh, what happened? That. What happened? Um, they only did like two days and it was after uh -huh. the, like little VidCon thing. Uh -huh. And then they had to go back. because So they, they were already gone? Yeah. So when did you know this? The, when I watched the vlog the previous day. So you knew they were gone and you already hooked on this Disneyland thing, huh? No, no, no. I didn't know they were gone when I went to Disney. Okay. I knew when I came back from Disney. That sucks. So it's Judy's time was there, but it was just so crowded at Disneyland. Like, I don't think I could have found anybody. I'm shocked that me and Colin found each other half the time. And you we were right next to each other. Mm -mm -mm. So Joe's been trying to sit on this chair. Look how gross this chair is. And he's been trying to sit on this. I'm like, you're not going to sit in my house after you sit on this. What happened? Oh, the air's on in here. Yay! Jada likes these rooms. I don't know why Joe keeps wanting us to sit on these chairs. I'm walking over to Leah's. Because we have no cars. Joe is, Joe is at work with his truck. Jada went to the gym in her SUV. And Joe went to the gym in Joshua's car. I wanted to go to the gym too, but I got so embroiled in editing the vlog that I'm going to upload when I come back tonight. By the way, my house is like right down that way, right? And then Leah's house is right over there by the house with the pretty friends. So it's not a far walk. <clears throat> so She wanted to come get me and she's going to be mad that I'm walking over there. I feel okay and she doesn't like me to walk because I suffer with the vertigo. It doesn't come on when I'm walking and stuff. But she says it's too hot. It's okay. That's sweet of her. But I can walk and get some exercise being that I'm not going to go to the gym. And um, I'm just going to hang there for a while. Eat some snow cones. Because remember we gave her that snow cone maker for her birthday back in the beginning part of this month. Jana made her the syrup. So we're going to chill, eat some snow cones, watch some TV. Come back home. Right now, I don't even know the time. I think it might be close to 6 o'clock. I'll come back home around 8. So Corey didn't get any SUVs for us today. He was bidding on three of them. But one buyer purchased all of them. And he drove the bid up too high. So that means those were not mine. And I'm going to wait for Tuesday. Let me cross. Yeah, so see the first seal sign over there? In the corner. So that's my street. This is Leah Street. So, not too far at all. So like I was saying, then that's not meant to be my car if the person outbid it and drove the prices up so high. So Tuesday, I'm gonna get my car. <clears throat> I still feel like my car should be white. But you know, you can't request a color when you go into the auction. You kind of have to take what they have as long as the engine works and the transmission and yada yada. So, but I'm liking a white car for the first time in a long time. So I'm at Leah's right now. Mom, wanna say something to my viewers? Mm -hmm. On my vlog? What are you eating anyways? Licorice? I've never liked licorice. I think something's wrong with me. I don't know why I've never liked it. I don't like the texture, I think, of the candy. Okay, and so and um, when it comes to jelly beans, I don't like the black one. Well, you see, I don't either. I hate black licorice and I hate black. See, Barbara is a wonderful person when she brings me <laughs> and that 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 sardo bread. Oh my nice god! I have to hot. make two more loaves. Oh, nice and hot, <laughs> making that butter and jelly on it with a cup. That's of not what you said before and, she came. And, and wow. mom took the back. Mom always takes the back like Joe. Right? You guys are horrible. Because the minute I make the bread and it comes out like this hour at night, I can't eat it this late. Joe goes with the two bats. I take some both. That's what yeah. we used to do to my mother when she baked bread. Uh huh. All the loaves were there and all of us would cut the side back. <laughs> oh, you get so mad. 
Well, see, Barbara's really nice, no? Don't you bring me chocolate cake? I'll pay you later, Mom. <laughs> Leah, I'll pay Mom later. <laughs> yes, and you know what? What I enjoyed was my shaved ice maker because I'm into snow Oh, God, that was good, though. And it was delicious. <laughs> And Jada had made me my bubblegum syrup. Mm -hmm. And I had two bowls. It was and good then though. I was nice enough to give Barbara one bowl. Right there. And the bowl and you was see, full. It's empty now. Why do we need to go to the fair anymore, Leah? That's we can right. make we everything to... that the fair makes now. That's right. <laughs> and we make it in our own house. Yeah. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> hey guys, it's Saturday morning. Well, Saturday afternoon almost. It's 12. Oh, it's after 12 already. 12.45. <clears throat> And um, Joe and I are heading out to Home Depot first. I want to go buy paint to um, start painting my living room, dining room combo. You got to sketch um, your thing. We're going to pick it when we get there. And so I want something that's more conducive to um, when I record with the camera. I, I don't say filming because we don't use film, you know? Sometimes I say tape and then we don't use tape either. So recording. Because... The colors that I have in the living room and dining room, I wanted, uh, like for years, I fought Joe to put those colors in there. Um, I'll show you guys when we get home. I'm sure you've seen it in other vlogs, but I'll show you the, cam the, the colors that we have. And after I put the colors in and I showed a picture to my Aunt Jenny, he scared me just because the light's red. I was like, is he going to go straight? I showed, I showed the picture to my Aunt Jenny. She's like, I know why you like those colors, the lavender and the green. And I said, why? And she says, the house that you were raised in when you were younger, you know, because I, I spent a lot of time at my grandma and my Aunt Jenny was there too, because my Aunt Jenny is only 10 years older than I am. And she says, that house was painted that way. The living room and dining was green and lavender. And I'm like, I didn't know that. I mean, that's, that must have been embedded in my brain. <laughs> and so um, I painted it that way. I did a little design in here to make it look like a heartbeat. You know, I wanted to be funky and artistic. And I've enjoyed that color for at least 10 years, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. It might have been longer than that, huh? It might be longer than that. But now I just want it plain. Not white, but just like a plain muted color. Maybe like a, a, a variation of beige or a variation of gray or, you know, something to where when you walk in, the home looks elegant. And when I turn on the camera, um, it's not like jarring and annoying. When we first started doing the cooking show, the kitchen was painted like a yellow that had more of a tinge of orange in it. And immediately we had to change the color to a, like a, a more muted yellow. Because the, the yellow that I have now, I don't know if it shows up that way on camera for you guys, but it's more custard color in real life. So we're going to paint the living room, the dining room, and down the hallway. Today is August the 1st and my birthday is coming up. August 14th is my birthday. Yeah, me and you Halle Berry. Have, you have a birthday? Yeah. I, I believe people like to say, do you have a birthday? We didn't know you were born. We thought you were hatched like a chicken. I was born, not hatched. <laughs> and so, um, me and Halle Berry share the same birthday, same month, same day, same year. But I think I'm cuter than her. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. She might got more money than you, but you're cuter than her. <laughs> you know what? I don't know anything about Halle Berry and I hope I don't meet her one day being that I'm going to say something right now. I think she appears to me in my mind. I'm gonna go in my mind like when the Williams like to do. I think she seems crotchety. Don't you think she seems crotchety? Like she would be somebody hard to get along with, that maybe she would fly off the handle in rages. Now this is not anything I know, okay? So don't go back quoting Barbara saying she said that about Halle Berry. No. This is what I imagine her to be. I don't think she's like sweet and demure and just, you know, jolly and all that good stuff i think she's difficult to live with i really think and I, I discussed it with a friend of mine that i met a while back and he was he he brought it up to me he's like no no i wouldn't want her as beautiful as she is i wouldn't want her i i, I think she's a biatch <laughs> i was like okay and i don't know her okay but i do know we share the same birthday and um i think <clears throat> my little strap fell I don't like the little strap to fall when I'm holding the camera because sometimes you see a shadow and it's just hanging. I think she's a beautiful young lady, but I just pick up a vibe that she might be grumpy, you know? My favorite, when we went to um, watch the Boris and Nicole show, the comedian came and asked us, well, she asked Joe, 
if you were to um, like for instance I guess people in their marriage always says that we're gonna be faithful to each other but there's like one celebrity you could cheat with if you met that person because you know the thing is that you'll never meet that person Joe and I never say that because cheating is not accepted under any circumstance so um, and we can never say we're not gonna meet that celebrity because we've met a lot of celebrities in our lifetime through just being at the right place at the right time so we can't say we're never gonna meet that celebrity but when they came to Joe, Joe didn't have anybody you know like hypothetically Joe didn't have anybody that he would be enticed to say oh cheat with because that's my all-time thing and um, not to say he doesn't admire some of these stars out there it's not, that's not saying that he just didn't have anybody that would warrant cheating and when when I was younger my main person that I was so in love with was John Schneider uh, I still like him but he's gotten old I think he's gotten a little bit too old for me <laughs> Joe's laughing. he's like the same age of Joe but I don't know why he looks so old so you want you want to say get to a wrinkle yeah he's wrinkled and old and shriveled and that's but white, he's sweet. That's white people he's sweet. I've met him in real life and he's sweet and I've talked to him through YouTube and he's such a darling. I mean he's such a caring man. He raised one of his nephews from birth almost as his own child. I mean he's such a good person. But he, he just got old. He's still handsome, but he got old. So then for a while I moved on to um Tom Selleck. I didn't like Tom Selleck when he was in Magnum PI. He was too silly in that show. His character was too silly. I like him with the character that he's playing on Blue, 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 Blue Bloods. I could say that so fast, Joe. Blue Bloods. And um, I know that he's water stealing. I know he stole that water. <laughs> Mom's, Mom's like, he didn't steal that water. She's sticking up for him because he's Republican, right? I still love him. Water stealing and all. He I stole that water, water to water his too. avocado ranch. I give him my and ranch. then he doesn't even eat avocados because he's selling his avocados. Oh, okay. I think the only issue I take with that is that um, he's always condemning the people, like the poor ones like us, that he says we live off the, the government, which we don't. But he's always talking about that, you know, all that rhetoric. But I still love him. I would still love to meet him. And so... <laughs> And um, so Jada, I was asking Jada, well, who do I love now, Jada? Which star out there would just like flutter my heart? Because none of them do, really. <laughs> They're just human beings like we are. I mean, when I met Boris Kojo, he's as handsome as could be. He kind of favors Jory. He kind of favored Jada in that picture, if you guys noticed. But <clears throat> he wouldn't be my type of dude because he's too pretty. I don't want nobody that's too pretty. I want a rugged person but so Jada was like going through the long list of people that I call my boyfriend because I call a lot of people my boyfriend <laughs> and so she ended up with James Spader you know because I I like um James Spader is the one that plays red on um the blacklist the old ball head guy now he's ball headed now you guys look him up for those of you who don't know him he was in all the little um 1980s movies the rom-coms or whatever he might have been in Pretty in Pink, don't quote me on that, but is those this, type of movies... Is this the king? Wait, let me see babe, don't, don't shut off the car yet. So it, the, he was in those type of movies and he was handsome. The, he's still handsome now, but he's just bald headed. So my aunt Jenny used to love him and she goes, oh no, I dropped him. I cut him off already because he got ugly with that bald head. Hey. I'm like, come on. You are huh? afraid to talk about man right in front of Baby, what you know if that? the man has a beautiful voice though, the man could be as handsome as the day is long and if he has a squeaky little tenor, ugh, ugly voice, I'm done. I'm done. The man has to have a deep bass voice. Doesn't wait, let me take that back. It doesn't have to be really bass bass, but a deep man's voice. You know, like my son's or Joe. I don't like that high pitched sounding voice, you know? Like, like hello shit. You don't have to be that deep. I just don't yeah, like yeah. the voice that Tom Selleck used to use in Magnum P.I. That squeaky high pitch, like he took it up an octave. Yeah, so um, the guy from Blacklist, James Spader, he's in um, one of those movies the kids are watching. He's Ultron or something or Voltron or whatever. Don't quote me because I'm not as nerdy. Wait, I'm not as nerdy as the kids, but he's in that movie and he plays like the bad guy in it, the Ultron or whatever. And my, my kids say the voice is so on point because I love voices. I listen to people's voice, men and women and kids, and I love a smooth, sweet, silky voice, you know, and I love a raspy voice to, to a degree, but mostly in singing. So I think my new boyfriend is James Spader. You guys look him up to see what he looks like now, see what he looked like then, but he's my, he's my new baby daddy, right? 
Can I have him? Baby, can I have him? No, he's tap. old, baby. Don't, don't tap. He's don't, older than you. You know what? I think he's like your age, but he looks old too. <laughs> let's see what paint we're gonna pick, guys, and let's see if Mr. Denfield is here. There's a guy that works here from Belize that has my dad's name, Denfield. <laughs> and Danny. Paint. 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 Pintura. This man loves fish. He loves seafood. I like seafood, but I wouldn't say I love seafood. We were raised too much on, on that in Belize. Every day it was lobster, crayfish, fish. Right, Joe? Not too much. I don't, I don't remember shrimp too much. We even had caviar. We would have caviar because caviar is the eggs that live inside the fish. And my aunt would take that out and fry that into like a fritter looking type thing. It looked like a finger, like, you know, like a chicken finger. Not as thick, not as big, right? But about the size of your finger. And she would, that stuff is delicious, you know. So we, you might say we were raised very privileged because caviar over here is so super expensive in Belize. It's not. And I don't like crawfish. I don't like crayfish. I don't like lobster. I don't like crawfish. You know, for that matter, I really don't even like shrimp. I like crab and I like certain fish. So, not a great seafood fan at all like Joe is. Joe will eat fish from sun up to sundown. Something is wrong with this man. And Jory can't stand the smell of seafood. Even if I open a can of tuna, he wants to barf. So, um, I think I like chicken because I'm not a great beef eater either. I'm not into steaks and stuff. Like People go out to restaurants and I want steak with uh, eggs and I want steak with steak, I steak and I want I'm steak no nah, that's a lot of chewing I'm not really a great beef person I could make a good vegetarian or vegan except for the fact that I like chicken <laughs> <Joe>? <laughs> and there are only few vegetables that I like you know and I, f I force myself to like some other vegetables because I know they're good for you and and I only like the sweeter fruits I don't like any of the berries and I know that berries are good for you, but I have to force myself to eat those because I don't like black cherry and berry and strawberry and don't like any of those. Don't like any of those. So, anyways, we are here. <sighs> Food for less. And I think for my birthday, all I want is a family portrait, Joel. I've thought about it. I want us. And I, I'm asking for that for my birthday because it's not super expensive to do but it's expensive in the way of making sure everybody's in a good mood because when you go Jada's gonna pout because her hair didn't come out right Jory is gonna pout because they got him from his fat angle if there's such a thing for Jory is there a fat angle on Jory right and then Joshua's gonna want to grow his hair like Saddam Hussein when they took him out of the hole sometimes he does that you know when I want to take a good picture and it's just, I want them to be pleasant when we go do this picture. Yeah. Just shut off the car so now it's hot. <laughs> they used to start on a Thursday and then they have it Thursday night, Friday night, and then they take Saturday off and then Sunday is the last day. But I don't like going on a Sunday because that's the youth stuff where the kids do all the performing and I don't know, it's too noisy for me on that day. We're talking about this conference, huh? Yeah, we're, we're talking about this conference that the church has every year. It's called Koinonia, and it means I think fellowship, fellowship in the spirit or something. I don't. It's it's a Greek term, I think, but it's a conference, and they usually have it every year. And it's usually start. It usually starts on a Thursday, but I saw the bulletin, and it says it's going to start Wednesday, uh, this year on a Wednesday. So it'll be Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. They take Saturday off, and then Sunday. So one of those nights, the Wednesday, the Thursday, or the Friday, I don't know which one my birthday falls on because I haven't checked the calendar to see what day my birthday falls on this year. But if it's a Thursday or Friday or whatever, I want to come for that night. I can't come every night because it is too overwhelming. The, the doors open at, what, 6, right, Joel? The, the, the conference starts at 7. Oh, get off this guy's butt, Joel. The conference starts at 7, the doors open at 6, but people are lined up at 5. I hate lining up. I really and truly hate lining up. So if I come right when the doors open and I get a back seat, oh well, I'm going to get a back seat. So, um, yeah, I want to come for my birthday. And the kids think I'm silly 
because I want to come for this big conference for my birthday. Well, they usually have big speakers here, you know, which I don't mind if the pastor that runs it, that owns the church, I don't mind when he preaches, but um, it's nice to see other people come in and preach too, so that's what Joe and I were talking about. So we're heading to church. We're almost there. It's uh, five minutes before church starts and um, we are about five minutes away. <laughs> So when we get in there, we're just going to walk right in and sit down. It's first Sunday. You guys know I come on first Sunday to get mommy her um, communion, the meal that heals. And um, also for us, I, I like coming on first Sunday because even though it's longer, it's it's more um, energized. There's a lot of energy on first Sunday. And there is Joe in his white, white cake. You want some white cake? Huh? That's from Django? Oh, that's from what? That's from Django, you know. White cake. <laughs> that's what Leonardo DiCaprio's character said. Ah, so, that's where we are. This is one short stretch of the freeway that we have to get. We get on at one entrance and we get off at the very next exit. And I believe it's called Rubido. But Jada had a little friend and couldn't say it and she said Rubidox. Remember Rubidox too? Rubidox is having twins now. Mm -hmm. See? Rubido, Rubido, Rubido in Harupa Valley. This is where this is located. Look how pretty the sky is to the camp. Well, you can't see it can you to drive but it's so beautiful through the camera lens right now. I hope it comes off that way on when I pull it off to the computer. Okay, so the church is located on the right hand side by that light down there. But the school is over there where you see that building because the church owns the school. And there's going to be no parking in the parking lot today because everybody comes for first Sunday in the evening for communion. So all we do is just come over here and park over here. Be done with it. No stress. See the church is over there. See? The little fish on the thing. So we just come park in the school's parking lot. That's what everybody else does who comes late. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. I'm messing with you too much while you're trying to back up. Don't mess it there, Let's right go in. Alright guys, so I had to come tape this moon for you guys because this is a f uh, blue moon. This is the second full moon. A lizard! Where are you? Oh, I can't see you. He camouflaged. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please check out my other channels right here to the right of your screen. The cooking channel, the product review channel, and Joe's channel. The links are in the description box.